Hello, my name is Anne Marie Cannon, and I'm the host of Armchair Historians. What's your favorite history? Each episode begins with this one question. Our guests come from all walks of life YouTube celebrities, comedians, historians, even neighbors from the small mountain community that I live in. They're people who love history and get really excited about a particular time, place, or person from our distant or not so distant past. The jumping off point is the place where they became curious, then entered the rabbit hole into discovery. Fueled by an unrelenting need to know more, we look at history through the filter of other people's eyes. Armchair Historians is a Belgian Rabbit production. Stay up to date with us through Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Wherever you listen to your podcast, that is where you'll find us. Armchair Historians is an independent commercial-free podcast. If you'd like to support the show and keep it ad-free, you can buy us a cup of coffee through Ko-fi, or you can become a patron through Patreon. Links to both in the episode notes. Hello, fellow armchair historians. In this episode, I'm doing something a little bit different. You may recall that I interviewed my great-nephew Finley for our New Year's 2021 episode. If you haven't done so, I highly recommend listening to that episode. It's one of my favorites. Well, Finley and I talked about a lot of things, some of which did not make it into the final cut. In this installment of Armchair Historians, I share one of the sidebar conversations we had about Finley's favorite history in the form of a mini So one of the reasons I love to interview kids about history is the very unique way in which they relate to the historical characters and events. Who does a child cast as a hero and who does he cast as a villain? I believe the way we view the world and ourselves are evident and the way we tell the stories of our history. Children are no exception. So the floor is yours. Tell me. So in Blackfoot, an Indian tribe, one of the chief's names was Little Blaze. Why his name is Little Blaze is because he was littler than some of the other people in his tribe. And he was one of the chiefs of, of his village. I don't I don't know why it was called Blaze. Oh, okay. There's something I think I know why. Like that's what his parents named him Blaze. And and Little is what the tribe named him. Okay. So what do we need to know about Little Blaze? Why should we care about him? I don't really know because I, I just found that and I wanted to like tell history about him and but okay how he died it's really sad so you know how there's lots of fights there was that one fight against the people that were trying to fight for their home that they're native yeah. americans and yes. uh the people that were moving in in to to build houses they teared their village and then um Lil Blaze had to lead his tribe lead his tribe to uh, another place it sounds like what you're saying it was in the 1800s yeah. that yeah. the native americans had it's like you living in your house like you're living in your house you're like la la la, la. my dogs are outside this is what i do every day and then it's like these people came and they started building another yeah. house on your property right yeah it's basically like that so what you're saying is that the blackfoot tribe was forced off of their land and little blaze had to take the lead he was he became the leader and he had to lead them to another place yeah how he died was a bow and arrow shot in his heart yikes that's really sad do you want me to tell you about the people that took their land so that land 
Where, where was Blackfoot, Dad? Where, where was the, the Montana? Montana. It was in Montana. Northern Montana. Northern okay. Montana. It was in northern Montana. The the tribe or the village was in northern Montana. Mm -hmm. So that man who took the land from them, what about him? He was a uh, really mean, like really mean, even to his like people. And he really, like, he just like wanted to take ev like he wanted the whole land to be his. This is awesome. What? There's still some Blackfoot Indians that are alive. Really? Yeah. Do you know yeah. any of them? Have you met them at all? or? I think I only know Will Blaze. So have you been studying Native American culture? Is that what you've been doing? Yeah. Um. But this is one thing that's... That's a little scary when you're dead. When an Indian dies, um, after the fight, when a lightning bolt strikes, they make a fire and then, and then they, um, put the the Indian over that died, and and they sing, they go around the fire pit and uh, sing a song. Is with the this is the whole song, um. But they just say this word over and over again. They they say, hey yo. They say ao. All the way around the whole campfire. Can you sing it? I basically just sung the song. It goes like this: ao, 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 ao. Ayo, and with drums, <laughs> like ayo, ayo, like that. That's basically they say it a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, and there's drums actually that are playing outside of the thing. I did not really know the details of that story, and talking to you about it makes me want to go learn more about it. Thank you. I did want to ask you. Why does this history matter to you? One day I just like want, wanted to look it up right when I w woke up. I just like got on my computer and looked up Blackfoot Indian tribe. And I found him and then I just started learning about stuff. And then you went down the rabbit hole and you just wanted to know more because you were curious. I love that. Um, I am still a lot curious. There's, I don't even know n names of their food yet. They wow, so there's a lot more. Food. There's a lot more to research, huh? Yeah, maybe, maybe I, I would be able to, to, um, print out, like, like, how they talk. Like, like. You could learn the Blackfoot language? Yeah, I want to learn the Blackfoot language because wow. because then if I if I do the Blackfoot um uh like how they speak um then then if I ever see one then I could like say hello in Blackfoot Indian way. I want to ask you a favor, so. It sounds like you're going to keep researching this and learning more about it. Would you come back on the show and share your research with us when and you maybe, learn more? Um, I will have the words on a piece of paper, and I can, I could tell you some of the the Blackfoot Indian words. Yeah. Hasta luego, amigo. All right, buddy. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. There you have it, my great nephew Finley telling us the story of Little Blaze and the Blackfoot Tribe. Be sure to check out our episode notes for more information. Also, another way that you can support the show is by leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts. Definitely follow us on social media, including 
including Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And all the little things that you do on social media, like subscribe, follow, leave a comment, it all helps. Thanks for listening. Have a great week.